Ladies and gentlemen, is this what you would call today's modern man? With his oversized shoes, old pants, ugly shirt, and loser vest, looking like his mother dressed him? Don't forget to hat, dear. No! The modern man can't afford to look like something from the past. He's got to have style. He's got to be groovy, cool, and fly. Gorge? I want to be gravy cold and lie. That's fly. Well, to understand today's styles, one must understand the origins. Let us begin with the culture of yesterday. The sensational 60s. Early in the decade, the dominant style came from overseas in the form of the British Invasion. A time of European suits and snappy rock music. It was an energetic style, and many loved it, especially the girls. The button-down look of the early 60s soon gave way to another British trend. The swinging Carnaby Street look. A time when men's clothes were more colorful, more baroque, more everything. Goofy, baby. The mid-60s were exhausting and made way for a mellower bent. The hippie movement. A time of love, flower power, and groovy bell bottoms. Bell bottoms? <laughs> yup. The girls also appreciated this earthy look. Hey, sunshine. Watch it, brother. The rebellious 60s soon gave way to the happening 70s. Where hip was a state of mind. Gold, polyester, and plenty of body hair were essential to the smooth, bicentennial look. I'm a wild and crazy goop. Soon, popular entertainment took over as the fashion statement, especially the sci-fi style, with its alien garb and shocking hairdos. I have a bad feeling about this. Of course, the accessories were to die for. Shiny! But the 70s also had a look that was bigger than outer space, and they named it Disco! With stylish threads so tight, they looked painted on. You're telling me! And the higher the platform shoes, the hipper you were! But it wasn't enough just to look good. You also had to move good. You had to show the ladies you were a dancer, that you could do the hustle, the locomotion, even the disco duck. Yes, the ladies loved the dancer. Soon the 70s boogied into the night, making way for the totally awesome 80s, where popular trends bespoke the rebellion of youth, a time of leather, guitars, and heavy face makeup. A time to say, don't mess with me, I'm a hot rocker. But those days of music fashion were soon replaced by a more chic, prosperous look. The stylin' Miami nightclub scene. Complete with yuppie ponytail. <laughs> Clothes weren't enough, however. The trendsetter also needed an awesome set of wheels. Righteous! Yes, the girls thought this look was totally rad. The 80s gave way to the information superhighway and the technology of the 90s, heralded by the emergence of the grungy hackers of Generation X. Hey, baby, what's your email address? Talk to the hand. There's no URL on this server. Hmm? Another popular trend was the explosion of the inner city style. Welcome to Rat. In the hip hop world, you want to be fat. Fat? It's these pain to rap. In the hip hop world, you want to be fat. Fat? It's these pants, right? You want to be fly. It's open. You want to relax, homie. Who's homely? You want to get down with your bad self. Hey, 
peace. I'm out. As we bid adieu to the 90s, we face a new millennium, the bright new tomorrow of the 21st century. Who knows what groundbreaking trends await us in the... Hey! There you go again with those clothes, stuck in the style of the past. No one in their right mind would dress like that. What's up, Goofy? What's that? Pretty fly for a goof guy. <clears throat> well, I guess this only proves that in the world of popular culture, what's old is new. <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. You're in perfect style.